The last kind of output we're going to take a look at is writing to the web page itself from JavaScript. Now there are lots of different methods of doing this, but there's a built-in one in JavaScript that I'm going to show you very briefly. I'm going to bring up my console here and down here at the bottom. We'll use a method on the document object called write. Now, the document object is just something in JavaScript that refers to the current web page we're looking at. And write is a method that lets you send a message to that document, in fact, replacing the text on that document with whatever you pass in. So if I put in my good old hello world test and hit enter, you can see that the entire web page I was looking at just got replaced with the words hello world. Now, as you get better at HTML, which is the language of web pages, you can do things like put HTML elements right into your page by including the tags. In this case, an H1 tag is for a heading. So if I add this, not only is it going to add the words hello world to my document, it's going to make them into a heading. And so we see you get that nice um, large font showing it off as a heading. And you can get a little bit fancier. You could do things like add lists. And again, this is not something that you're expected to know right now. Obviously, we're not working on uh, HTML just yet. But you can see we've got a little list item now by using the HTML for lists. So you could use this technique to update what you see on the web page as a user was playing your game, for example. So you could write text to the screen in response to different actions that players took. Now there are other ways to interact with the screen using something called jQuery, which is a little bit simpler. Uh, Document.write is kind of heavy-handed. What it does is it just plops it right up onto the whole document. But in reality, you more often want to just affect a part of the screen. And while it is possible using straight JavaScript to grab just a portion of your screen and update it, it's much easier to do with something called jQuery. And we will take a look at that in some of the more advanced JavaScript classes.